Daniel Hernandez, born May 8, 1996, known professionally as Tekashi69 or 699INE, pronounced 69, is an American rapper. His music has been marked by an aggressive style of rapping, while his controversial public persona is characterized by his distinctive rainbow-colored hair, extensive tattoos, legal issues, and publicized celebrity feuds. Hernandez became widely known in late 2017 after the release of his debut single, Gummo, which was a sleeper hit. He subsequently released the mixtape DAY69, 2018, which was supported by the singles Kuda, Keek, and Gotti, all of which charted on the Billboard Hot 100. Fief, featuring Nicki Minaj and Murda Beats, a single from his debut album Dummy Boy, 2018, peaked at number 3 on the Hot 100. Despite negative critical reception, Dummy Boy was certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA. In 2015, Hernandez pleaded guilty to a felony count of use of a child in a sexual performance and received a four-year probation period and a 1,000-hour community service order. In 2018, he was arrested on racketeering, weapons and drugs charges. Facing up to 47 years in prison, he pleaded guilty to nine charges including conspiracy to commit murder and armed robbery in February 2019. During the trial, Hernandez testified for the prosecution against other nine Trey gang members, and was sentenced to just two years in prison. In April 2020, he was granted early release during the COVID-19 pandemic following fears over his vulnerability to the disease due to his asthma condition. He was put on house arrest for the remainder of his term, and was released in early August 2020. After his release from prison, his single Gooba debuted and peaked at number 3 in the US and Trolls, his third collaboration with Minaj, debuted at number 1 in the country. His second album, Tattle Tales, 2020, debuted at number 4 on the US Billboard 200. For his role as a witness for the prosecution in the Nine Trey Gangsters trial, Hernandez has been near universally condemned and ostracized by other members of the hip-hop industry. Although he has enjoyed some commercial success since his release from prison, Hernandez has effectively been blacklisted from major streaming platforms and radio. Daniel Hernandez was born on May 8, 1996, in Bushwick, Brooklyn, New York City to a mother from Atlixco, Mexico, and a father from Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico. His father is also named Daniel Hernandez. His mother, Natividad Perez Hernandez, came to the U.S. in 1988 to seek a better life and opportunity, she was a factory worker and house cleaner. Hernandez played baseball and soccer throughout his youth. He was assigned to a major league soccer team at 13 but his mother declined because she did not trust a stranger taking her son at a young age. Hernandez has an older brother, Oscar Osiris Hernandez, born August 25, 1994. Hernandez has his first name tattooed on the right side of his head. Hernandez and his older brother Oscar were raised in a church throughout their youth. Hernandez would sing during Mass and was selected many times to read from the Bible, his favorite passage was Psalm 121. For elementary school, he attended public school 59, for middle school, he attended Juan Morel Campos Secondary School and for high school, he attended Legacy High School. He left high school around the 10th grade. Hernandez did not know his father until he was 9 years old and had only a brief relationship with him. Hernandez's mother told him he was dead, according to Hernandez's father. Hernandez's father had a heroin addiction and was in prison for five years for selling drugs. Hernandez's stepfather was shot dead steps away from the family home in 2010. After the murder of his stepfather, Hernandez's mother wasn't able to make enough money working to support her children. She applied for welfare and there were many nights Hernandez and his brother went to bed without dinner. Due to his mother's financial struggle, Hernandez and his brother wore used clothes and Hernandez had to share a bed with his mother. Emotionally disturbed by the death of his stepfather, Hernandez would not shower or eat to the point where he lost a lot of weight, he was given therapy and was hospitalized for depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. Hernandez also started to act out due to his stepfather's death and was eventually expelled from school in the 8th grade for bad behavior. Rather than continuing his education, 
he started working at various jobs such as being a busboy and a delivery boy at a grocery store to help his mother financially. In April 2017, Hernandez and Tripared released their first collaboration, POLES 1469 and in July 2017, they released another, OE. Later that year, upon seeing a post from a Twitter account claiming Hernandez was a pedophile following the release of images and information by fellow rapper and Hernandez's detractor Zilakami, Tripared denounced Hernandez, saying, I'm sorry brose, sick, 1400 don't promote pedophiles. If we give niggas clout, we give niggas clout. It was an accident. On November 11, 2017, following a series of barbs the two traded on social media, Red was attacked in the lobby of a New York hotel and blamed Hernandez and his crew in an Instagram Live video. Hernandez later insinuated his involvement in an Instagram Live video, saying, I don't know what's going on, but your chin is bruised up. You can't just be out here calling people gay, bro. Can't be supporting false accusations, you can't be ranting on live talking about New York. Fuck these niggas talking about, New York this, New York that, like, you just can't do that bro. You should put some ice on that chin, it's bruised up. I feel bad brother. I just want you to be my friend again, before proceeding to sing the hook from Polls 1469. He was referencing a post by Trippy Red that showed Hernandez holding hands with another man with a caption insinuating Hernandez was a homosexual. In February 2018, Hernandez was assaulted by several men outside a Los Angeles airport shortly after arguing with Trippy Red on Instagram. Their feud continued to escalate with mutual internet trolling. Hernandez later accused Trippy Red over Instagram Live of having pedophilic sexual relations with fellow rapper Bad Babai who was a minor at the time. Trip Red denied the allegations and reiterated Hernandez's conviction for use of a child in sexual performance. Bad Babai also took to Instagram Live to deny the claims, but admitted the two had kissed in the past, saying, we kissed but it wasn't that serious and he was 17 at the time. However, this contradicts an account given by Trip Red to the late XX Extentation regarding the nature of their relationship prior to it being publicly known. After the dissolution of Trippy Red's relationship with his then-girlfriend Alexandria Lavglia, known professionally as Elect Dollar, Hernandez started posting videos of himself with her, hinting at sexual activity between the two. After Hernandez's November 2018 federal arrest on RICO charges, Trippy Red mocked Hernandez's imprisonment in a video of him dancing to the tune of Akon's 2004 hit single Locked Up, mimicking a jail scenario. Throughout 2018, Hernandez was involved in feuds with a number of Chicago drill artists from the Glow Gang Collective, including Chief Keef, Lil Reese, and Tato, Chief Keef's cousin, stemming from domestic abuse and relationship issues relating to fellow rapper Cuban Doll, who was in a relationship with Tato but also friendly with Hernandez. The two continued to feud on social media, with Hernandez posting a video of his semi-romantic vacation to Hawaii with Cuban Doll to Instagram and driving up to Chief Keefe's old neighborhood and taunting him, as well as contacting Arian Clark, known professionally as Slim Danger, the mother of one of Chief Keefe's sons, and recording himself buying her designer clothes and verbally taunting him and later receiving full audio from her. On May 8, 2018, Trippy Red previewed the song I Kill People on Instagram, featuring Chief Keefe and Tato, which was aimed as a diss toward Hernandez and Cuban Doll. Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber in May 2020, 699 INE accused singers Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande of cheating and buying their way to number one on the Billboard Hot 100, after their song Stuck With You debuted at number one while his comeback single, Gooba, debuted at number three for the week ending May 23, 2020. He also accused Billboard of chart manipulation. In an Instagram post, 699 INE alleged that Grande and Bieber were using six credit cards to purchase 30,000 copies of their song at the last minute. Both Grande and Bieber denied the allegations against them, as well as addressing 699 INE's claims of using six credit cards, stating that their fans are the ones who bought the songs and explaining that no more than four copies could be purchased. Bieber would address 699 INE's claims of that his streams didn't count, stating that he, 699INE, is counting his global streams and this is a domestic chart so only domestic streams count. On July 12, 
2018, Hernandez was arrested in New York for an outstanding warrant related to an incident where he allegedly choked a 16-year-old in the Galleria Shopping Mall in Houston, Texas, in January 2018. All charges were eventually dropped after the teenager decided not to take legal action.